comparison. A psychotherapist with a difference. Elizabeth shares her private practice with her husband, Dr. Noble Harrison. Fifteen years ago, they became frustrated with the limitations of traditional psychotherapy techniques. So together, they went in search of something new. So Elizabeth, yes, this is all quite incredible <laughs> stuff. So you have it to is, tell Colm. me, how did you get started? Well, I personally hit rock bottom. And now I believe bottoms are good, but at that time, when my body started to check out and I became ill, I decided I had not found answers and I had to continue my search. I'd been a psychotherapist for years and I felt to be an imposter. I was trying to teach others what I couldn't even do for myself. So I quit my psychotherapy practice. Well, I was sick and couldn't go back. And I decided to search the globe and find what works. I dragged my psychologist husband with me and we looked for cutting edge energy techniques that we combined, simplified and tested over the past 15 years on tens of thousands of students and I began to see patterns of healing that were simple, fast, lasting and it healed my life very quickly so I knew I could pass that on to my clients. Now tell me, what mm -hmm. you've developed is what you call brain-body balance and also the, uh, the brain feng shui techniques. Mm -hmm. Now tell me, what are those exactly and how do they work? What I did was take literally dozens and dozens of cutting edge energy techniques and combined and simplified them. And the techniques include things like touch for health, things that are now pretty mainstream like emotional freedom technique being taught in universities today. And you can even get CEU credits for it, but back then it was very strange stuff and NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, and many, many others, eye movement desensitization. I combined and simplified them. And pretty soon I began to see patterns of healing that aren't in some books that I'd ever studied in psychology and in my studies in school. And they're Basically, within 30 seconds, your brain can change permanently. Neural pathways and habits rewire. This is what basically it does. Over time, our brains get cluttered with memories, but that's not all. The real roots are in the generations. So up to seven generations, you carry the cellular memory. We know that when we think of body organs, heart trouble, liver, those kind of things, disease passing through generations. But according to the acupuncture meridian system, every organ has thoughts, beliefs, and memories. And those memories unresolved pass through generations in the DNA. And we're born with the propensity for certain organs to disease, but along with that comes your perception, beliefs, thoughts, and feelings. So we're able to literally disturb the roots, like deleting a virus on a computer. Uh -huh. It works the same way, and it sets your life program free. And the cool thing is, when you delete the virus, you get to choose your way, and the result is amazing. This all sounded very impressive, but I wanted to know more. I was lucky enough to get access to some of Elizabeth's former clients to find out exactly what her techniques had done for them. George has been treated by Elizabeth for various emotional issues. What did he have to say about it? My name is George Tift. I'm from New Britain, Connecticut. I'm 57 years old. I'm a musician and a realtor. I was married to Sharon for 30 years. Um, she was just an absolute sweetheart. Um, about 18 months ago she had been diagnosed with a, a rare sinus cancer and it just exploded up into her head and uh, they had to do two major surgeries and after the second surgery they deemed her cancer free. You know we thought we had turned a corner and then when the cancer came back by the time they realized what had happened it was only 20 days later that she passed away. 
right after she passed, within just a few days, I began having major panic attacks that would just literally shut me down. Um, I couldn't function. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't even go to the grocery store. Uh, I'd get up in the morning and uh, I'd, be a, I'd be fine for just the first hour or two and then a thought, a memory uh, would hit me and I would just, I'd be shut down the rest of the day. The emotional swing that I went through after Sharon passed was, um, it, it was like nothing I'd ever experienced before. I, um, I'd say that I got angry, but it was more like I was just in shock. I, I could not believe that, that something had turned that quickly. That, um, you know, the woman that I loved was gone in just a matter of weeks when we had been told that everything was fine. Um, I knew that I needed to see someone. And it was in that that uh, I reached out to Elizabeth. And she graciously opened up her calendar and I flew down the next day. And uh, we, we spent an entire day together. And the, to say the change was miraculous is, is beyond anything I would have imagined. I went into her office at 10 in the morning, just uh, an absolutely broken human being. Um, came out at 6 in the afternoon and um, it was like a new day, it was like a, a new being. Um, you know, they have a, a religious phrase about being born again. Um, it was like I was a, a brand new person when I came out. You know, it was like my life had gone from black and white to technicolor in a matter of hours. George had convinced me that Elizabeth's brain body balance techniques clearly worked with grief trauma. But I wondered how effective it would be on more extreme types of mental trauma. Then I saw a video that humbled me to my very core. My name is Michael John Dwayne Vernon. I am a sergeant in the United States Army. My birthday is February 18th. 1978. On September 2nd, 2010, at 10.15 in the evening, I was going on a mission from Al Assad Air Force Base to Ramadi. I was 15 minutes from the base and I was in a rollover. The vehicle rolled over, my turret that I was in broke off. When I was found, the turret was on top of me. I was transferred to a naval hospital where for a month I was in a coma and every other day I was in the operating room. In the accident, it broke every bone in my body except for my spine and my neck and my brain swelled. They did all the operations on me and drained my injuries and I had to get my hand amputated. I was at that hospital for eight months. I got my first prosthesis there and I did all my therapy from occupational therapist, speech, PT. The last three months of my hospital stay, I was in a section of the hospital concentrated on just my traumatic brain injury. After I got discharged, I went back to my duty station, and while I was there, I was seeing counselors and therapists, but it wasn't helping me to move forward. I went to Elizabeth, and Elizabeth used a different type of therapy to help live your life. Having been helped by Elizabeth has been a great thing to help with my TBI, and having had the knowledge and the treatment with Elizabeth has been a, a great experience. It was a blessing to have had Elizabeth giving me the treatment and the knowledge to be able to live my life now with traumatic brain injury. Michael's bravery had impressed me so much that I wanted to know what Elizabeth's husband, Dr. Noble Harrison, thought of all this. So I started integrating these processes um probably 25, maybe almost 30, 30 years wow. ago, before they were more um, prominent or well-known in the field or to the public. So I started using these in my everyday practice because I became frustrated with how long it might take or how long it was taking 
myself working with a patient or a client to make the proper changes in the, in the mood, their attitude, the behaviors. And so I found early on that these new techniques drastically and dramatically reduce the length of time it takes for people to change and improve and become more happy and constructive and productive. And actually the process is easy to do and in most cases produce rather dramatic, almost miraculous results. My name is Donna Cullen and I'm the founder and president of Auto Trial Clinical Research Consulting. It's a company dedicated to the ethical pursuit of clinical research in the drug market, device market, biologics, and um, diagnostics. There were a series of events from even the time I was born, from having heart problems from when I was born, that I narrowly escaped and I healed from that. And so I was raised in this environment of being a sick child. I did everything. Being in the industry, a lot of the physicians I was working with saw that I wasn't well and even reached out to try to help me figure out what was going on. Whatever treatment I would get was always temporary. It would last for a short period of time and I'd get really hopeful and the next thing it would recur and I'd get very sad again. So that swing up and down led me to getting depressed because I'd get hopeful and disappointed and hopeful and disappointed or something would work and then stop. After things continued, they just continued to get worse. And there was one time in particular where a friend of mine uh, hadn't seen me in about three weeks. She came over to the house, picked me up and she said, I'm taking you to Elizabeth. And four hours later I came out feeling the best I had felt in my entire life. It was miraculous. Working with Elizabeth, there's, there's a couple of major things that I found that were different. Elizabeth's work seems to get at the causative agents underneath, the roots. It's like, I'm not a gardener by any means, but I know enough that if I'm going to pull a weed, I want to get it by the bottom and the roots so it doesn't grow again. Of all the treatments I've ever had, this has been the far most effective ever. What I notice about Elizabeth's treatment that I haven't ever have not experienced before is because we get to the roots, the responses I've had are permanent. I would unquestionably recommend brain body balance to anyone. I think uh, if you have a problem, absolutely. But even if you don't, there's so much that we all carry that we don't even know of. As a professional in the pharmaceutical field with 32 years of experience, I would love to see this treatment modality, brain body balance and, and body feng shui, brought into mainstream medicine. Medicine today accepts acupuncture, they accept yoga, all of those benefits are seen. This is, these are all the same principles, it's right in alignment with that. It makes all the sense in the world to me, it's just a different way of combining all of those theories that are already accepted. I would love to see it part of mainstream medicine. Clients come to see me for an average of three to four sessions that last two, two and a half hours. That's seven or eight hours total. They might come back for a short tweak later to get even more in life, but the basics are seven to eight hours. And that's all they need? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's incredible. People come to see me for an array of reasons ranging from severe health problems because we're last resort usually. Mm -hmm. They come for anxiety, depression, trauma memory problems that have not been resolved for relationship problems and also just because they want more out of life and they feel stuck in some area. My name is Bobby Anderson. I live in Coast City, Illinois, and I'm a pain management coach. The people that I work with are folks that are in chronic physical and emotional pain. And a lot of the pain and emotional stress and anxiety that they're going through could be lingering from an automobile accident, it could be some type of trauma, but regardless of, of the event, it's uh, physiologically Western medicine has said that they're healed, but they still feel the pain, and the pain is still very real. So I've spent literally 
close to probably $110,000 getting training and coaching and hypnosis and neuro-linguistic programming, which is also known as NLP, to, um, my, my passion is to help these folks find a way to allow their body to release the pain. In December 2013, I was at a networking event in California, and that's where I met Elizabeth. Had I met Elizabeth a few years ago, I would have been at least $110,000 ahead, right? <laughs> because of all the things that I've had to learn and piecemeal together. Hers is definitely the complete system of change. And I was so grateful to meet her because I seem like I can get my clients to a certain point, but then it, you know, it's the, the body doesn't accept it. It's, we hold things at a cellular level and she has definitely found a way to get into those cells, into that memory, you know, no matter where it's coming from to allow us to release it. It's, it's miraculous. The effect that Elizabeth has had on me is amazing because I've gone through the process and I've learned how to, uh, to do the process with my, with my clients. The experience that I've had with Elizabeth and what it's done for me, I would say that there probably isn't a whole lot of people on this planet that wouldn't definitely benefit from the brain-body balance technique. Um, brain-body balance has changed the way I look at life. Some folks are ready and some aren't, but I will say that the brain-body balance system will help and can help everybody. And it's my passion to pass the information on to help one individual at a time or groups at a time. It's, it's amazing. I'm Bobby Tolley. I'm 91. And years ago, when I was 25, I had a panic attack which went into agoraphobia, struggled for 60 some years, found Elizabeth, and now I'm doing beautifully. Hi, my name's Julie Johnson. I saw Elizabeth Harrison last year after a severe trauma, and I was immobilized with fear and with anxiety. And after seeing her, I was no longer struggling. So now I'm free to move. See you, Elizabeth. To find out more, or how you can teach the brain-body balance system to others, simply contact Accord Psychological and sign up for an online seminar or a one-to-one -one session today.